one woman was killed and at least 16 people injured in a Russian overnight strike in the southern Mykolaiv region of Ukraine. Regional authorities on Tuesday said civilian infrastructure and residential buildings were damaged in the strike, which caused fires to break out. The attack also damaged vehicles, a restaurant complex and a shopping pavilion. The attack took place around 2.30 a.m. and was carried out with S-300 ballistic missiles, authorities added. The Air Force of Ukraine reported that Russia launched seven S-300 missiles at Mykolaiv and two KH-59 guided aerial missiles at northern regions of Ukraine. Настого жовтня близько двох годин на 30 хвилин ворогам було обстрілено місто Миколаїв. Внаслідок обстрілу було пошкоджено інфраструктурний об'єкт, ресторанний комплекс, торгові павільйони, а також автомобілі. Внаслідок обстрілу поранення отримали 16 чоловік та одна жінка загинула. Для ліквідації наслідків залучали 77 чоловік особового складу та 14 одиниць техніки. At least three police officers and four insurgents were killed in an attack on a police station on Monday in the district of Banu in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, Pakistani police said. No one has claimed responsibility for the attack. Suspicion is likely to fall on the Pakistani Taliban, who often target security forces across the country. We came to know that armed militants attacked nearby police station, said local resident Rematullah Khan. Intermittent fighting is still going on and there are reports of gun fires between the police and militants, as a result of which police and militants have been killed, as well as the city of Banu being completely shut down. Earlier in the day, China's Premier Li Chang arrived in Islamabad for a two-day meeting of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization starting on Tuesday to discuss how to boost security and economic ties between the member states. Li is the most prominent leader attending this week's meeting in Pakistan of a regional security grouping that was founded by Russia and China to counter Western alliances, despite a surge in militant violence in the country. During his three-day visit, Li will also meet with Pakistan's President Asif Ali Zardari, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif and senior political and military leadership. Pakistan's foreign ministry said the SCO meeting will also be attended by representatives of Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. It said Iran's vice president and the Indian foreign minister would also attend. Now, if you look at the side of the police line, 
هغه ته تر خګر راغلی او هغه په دلته حمله کړې ده نو تر اوسه پورې چې کومه دې ډزې دي اوس هم روانې دي وقفې وقفې سره د ننه سایډ نه چې کوم دي آوازونه راځي او تر اوسه پورې کسان پکې ژبل شوي هم دي او هغې نه علاوه د بنو چې کوم بازار دی بازار په مکمله توګه باندې بند شو Thank you.